I'm babbling by a bubbling brook for 5 minutes and 37 seconds. Hey guys, it's Casey Francis O'Brien. And I'm here. I'm feeling blessed, I'm feeling safe, I'm feeling protected. I'm feeling like the universe is conspiring in my favor. I'm feeling like a way higher, denser level of connection than I've ever felt. The black serpent that always wanted to fight, that always wanted to hurt and outperform the ones that hurt me. It's stolen and used against me, so I had to suffer and fight myself to go on my own internal journey and then come back to fight it with my new skills. And could have been better. But I wanted to talk about a tarot reading I just had. This is my celebratory black and mild. I haven't had anything for months. And I walked five miles to the nearest store and got one. So we're going to have it. So, these few months, I was screaming at the camera, why would God do this to me? I feel so alone. I don't understand why I don't fit in the world. Why did, what did I do to deserve this, this abandonment? And I learned about different levels of organizations, different wills that are being exerted on the environment, brainwashed communities, small town drama, the interworkings of Appalachia and nature. And I got to see a new blend of how everything connects as I travel, as I have since birth. But this past few months have been horrible in terms of feeling alone and feeling ostracized from God, feeling like I don't have this strong connection where they're right in my ear all day, right in my spine, and I'm a portal for myself, invading like a stampede of a thousand wildebeest and lions. Dragons and polar bears. I'm from somewhere your mama wouldn't let you go over there. Don't pretend that you know shit about shit. Sit down and let me overshare. When you stare at this water long enough, you really get mesmerized by it. You really look into it. And then you look around afterwards, you realize that the whole thing is moving. The whole universe is swaying. It's not stagnant. Perception changes, the mountain looks bigger and smaller depending on how you feel. And that's because we're living inside of something, it's living in us. The living God is living everywhere. I know you wanted to hear that. <laughs> so the, the revelation I had is in these past few months where I felt completely alone, practicing tarot readers that were just really getting in tune with their gift, of being able to be in this dimension where they see people for who they are and they see outside of themselves selflessly to understand and perceive others to be able to relay messages and work together with these spirits and universe to provide the most meaningful experience to bless people beyond belief so five to ten of them for the past months, I'm talking like six months back. Sit, go back to my video six months ago. At least six months back, they've had messages for me. Things have been going to these tarot readers and telling them about me. And they've been relaying messages as they practiced. And these tarot readers see my life and I notice my speech patterns that they, if I go back through my videos and see like obvious patterns and changes in my speech, I'm finding that change was their behavior because they had interlinked us so that we could both grow together in the spirit realm, in the unseen world. I'm Irish, I'm Native American, I'm Romanian, I'm a little Asian, I'm African, and I'm Native American, I think I said that. And, I'm, and my mom's side is alien, bruh. They're aliens. If I, edited my, if I wanted to edit my videos, I'd show you their pic, the picture of their eyes. They're RH negative. 
There's something in my blood that makes me special. And these tarot readers have been relaying to me the messages I've been praying for for months and months and feeling alone. And then it all hit me in, a, in this elevation out of the pit that I was just in. For me to realize there's so much more at work. And they, all the tarot readers at the end, they thanked me for being able to see such a unique and individual soul. They thank, like they're, they're there almost crying. And they're thanking me because they never had seen someone like this and they're so grateful to be blessed. And they said that my purpose in life is to just be here.